is Tuesday, February 22nd, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 55 degrees and rainy here in Syracuse. I'm Maddie Stelk. Here's what you need to know. SU's Winter Carnival is tonight from 6 to 10 in the Goldstein Auditorium in Shine. The area will be transformed into a full carnival with games, activities, and giveaways. This includes traditional tabletop carnival games, mini golf, a photo booth, and more. Cotton candy, corn dogs, popcorn, and other classics will also be provided. Information Technology Services is continuing to tell students to stop using their hotspots. Instead, they should use the Air Orange X network. ITS says hotspots can disrupt the normal use of this university provided Wi Fi. This has been a possible cause of student reports on campus Wi Fi outages throughout the semester. Before beginning in person meetings, faculty and staff are urged to remind students to make sure they are connected to Air Orange X. Governor Kathy Hochul signed the conditional cannabis cultivation bill earlier today, giving the green light to licensed hemp farmers to start growing in 2022. Hochul says this positions New York farmers to be the first to grow cannabis, bringing more economic growth and opportunity into New York State. The budget for the legislation calls for $200 million aimed at areas most affected by the overcriminalization of cannabis. And coming up on News Live at Sticks, a Syracuse student with type 1 diabetes is determined to make a difference. Citrus TV reporter Marie Achkar will tell you more about the club chapter he is rekindling. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Maddie Stealth. Have a great evening, Syracuse.